Hello everyone! It is Saturday. We kind of slacked on the whole face mask Friday thing. Yeah. Whoops. Oops. So it's morning. We both have dark circles. I washed my face. I don't know if he did, but we are about to show you our face mask of the week yes. from... <gasps> Where's it from? Sephora. We all love the Sephora bag, right? Hmm. Right. And these cute earrings, you guys, I'm gonna drop them in the description. I just discovered my second hole was still pierced. I didn't think it was. But these came from Amazon and they were super cheap. I will drop a link. Let's see what we got. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. We have some Dr. Jart Shake and shot masks. This is the rubber brightening mm. mask. So we are gonna put these on for you and give you the before and after. Hey, let's let them see our faces up close. This is before. Before. Ooh, dark circles today. All right, you guys. So pop this open. This is actually a little spatula. And you actually take the spatula out. Because you need to cover that hole to shake it up. Of the mouth. <laughs> so, if you haven't watched our face mask Fridays before, this is Mark, my loving husband. He also has a blog. Not a YouTube channel yet. We're, we're working on hyping him up for YouTube, you guys. Um, YouTube's not ready for me. He is on Instagram. He is a watch guy. So you could check his blog and his Instagram out. I will drop a description, uh, drop a link if I could talk in the description. Um, so inside, these. there is the Shake and Shot rubber mask white and the rubber brightening mask orange. So mm -hmm. you do, I think you need scissors. It looks perforated. Oh, it is perforated. Yeah, I think I'm... I did one of these the other night yeah. and I didn't think it was perforated and I use scissors, so... Mix Whoops. one and two together. So you put both of them into here. And if anybody like stalks Instagram for those hydro jelly masks, these are very, very similar, just so you know. Um, I did figure out the other night that you're better off like globbing all of this on your face and then spreading it around versus trying to spread it a little bit at a time because it does dry. So pro tip from me. Um, I did the hydrating one the other night. I loved how it felt. Mark didn't want to do it, so that's why we're doing this on Saturday. <laughs> he was being a lazy bum the other night, but it's okay. We were snuggling with our Cocker Spaniel, Molly, who I talked about in my Ulta unboxing. She is newly blind, so we're still getting used to that and giving her some extra love. She is so sweet. She is 11 years old. She is a rescue. I think she rescued us, not the other way around. She is the sweetest dog and the most resilient dog I've ever seen in my life. It's crazy. So once you mix these two together, you put the lid on and you have to shake well until fully mixed. And this is where you have to cover the hole while you shake. That's why you gotta take the spatula out. So, I feel like every mask we do on here has to be shaken. Yeah. Hanicure, this one. Definitely. I only like complicated masks, you guys. All right, let's do it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cover the mouth. Make sure. And you'll feel it like gel together. Yeah. It, mine's probably about done. I don't hear any more squishy. So. Okay. So maybe. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's kind of wild. Yeah. Hmm. So I would recommend getting whatever you have in the lid. Ouch. You're supposed to use the spatula, but it's a little hard to use a spatula in the little face. So we're going to skip those directions from Dr. Jart today. And I don't remember the price of these, you guys. I love all the Dr. Jart stuff I've been using lately. It's just fun and it feels good. And if something is fun and it feels good, we all like it, right? Um, yeah. Whether it's good for us or not. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I mean, I'm kind of kidding. It's kind of true. So, whoa! Okay, a bunch of it just dropped on my cleavage. Not ideal. So you do want to try and get this in a thick layer because it peels off. And if it's really thin, it can be a little hard to peel. I figured that out the other night the hard way. <laughs> so you don't want that. And try not to get it in your hair. Also a little bit problematic when that happens. So here is what it looks like and it does have to stay on for a hot minute it's really cooling mm -hmm. and there's a lot of product like you probably could split one of these if you have a friend masking with you <laughs> um mark and i probably could have split one but instead i'm gonna put it everywhere yes i have so much on my hands you guys like and there's still more in there. So that should tell you something. It does dry though, so you can't like save it and use it another day or anything. Just FYI, don't get like excited about that. The puka shell earrings might have been a bad idea because I think they're gonna get in the mask, but oh well. It happens. It happens. <laughs> trying to just like glob all of this yeah. on my face no that stuff is thick I don't want to waste it so <laughs> um, Dr. Jart has come out with some new cryo masks too that are kind of similar they're the rubber hydrogel masks so they're kind of like a sheet mask but gel and those are definitely on my list of things to try. I have not yet, but it does seem like they're getting some, some good press. So I would probably recommend those. If you haven't tried Dr. Jart, um, he, it, it is Asian beauty. I want to say it's Korean, but it might not be. Um, so I don't want to be wrong. Let's see if it says where this was made. Uh, I should probably look these things up like before I do this. So it says New York, New York on there. So that's not where they're from. Um, but their stuff is really, um, it's really moisturizing. I haven't had experienced like any problems with sensitivity from their stuff. So I've been really happy with that so far. Pretty gentle, which is pretty normal for foreign beauty it's us americans that like to strip our skin to make it pretty um that doesn't work for my dry skin so wouldn't recommend it so i need to go wipe my hands off because i have so much of this still left no shortage of product from dr jart they're not trying to skip. And then once you put this on, it has to stay on for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer. It's actually one o'clock exactly right now. So we will come back at around hmm. 1.15 to show you the removal process. And I hope you're enjoying hmm. our crazy mess. <laughs> We're back. We're back. This is what it looks like dry. 
Mm. It's time to peel off. Mm. It does peel. Mm. So we are going to fast forward through the peeling process because I'm sure this is fun, but it's not that fun. So we'll see you in a few. So, we had a little bit of technical difficulties with the facial hair situation. However, I do think my skin looks brighter. I think it worked. It feels really soft and hydrated. Yeah. That's what I've noticed with these the most is that they're like a super great hydration boost. Mm -hmm. So, if your skin's feeling a little dry and maybe you're hungover. <laughs> That's never happened in our house. <laughs> what am I talking about? Um, <laughs> this is really good. And probably after sun, since it's summer, um, the hydration one would be really helpful. Um, if you got out in the sun and everything was dry, but I like, can't stop. Like I haven't even moisturized and my skin feels so hydrated. It's super cool too. Yes. The and it's cooling time. and soothing. Not with like a menthol feel, just like you put cool gel on your face. Yeah. So, um, I'm a fan. Yeah. Let's see. I think I had, I do have the receipt in here so I can tell you how much we paid for them. So these were $12 each. So they're not the cheapest out there, but I think they're fun for like a self care splurge day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're like little egg, uh, egg whites. Hanging <laughs> off your face when you They're take them off. A little thicker than egg whites. Yeah. I've actually done an egg white straight mask. But I mean, yeah, they're pretty cooling and and wet, and um, you know, I feel that they are nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I guess we recommend, mm -hmm. even for twelve dollars. Even for twelve dollars. <laughs> so I will drop links to marks details in the description as well as mine and a link to Dr. Jart's masks. You can get mm -hmm. them at Sephora um, or direct from Dr. Jart, I believe. So I will drop you some links and maybe we can find a discount code for you. So check out the description. I do include some other discount codes. So you might get the hookup. And be sure to check out my blog for a full review, www.bloggingaboutbeauty.com. And most importantly, if you thought this was helpful or just entertaining, Make be sure, sure to, to subscribe and like this video yes. so you can see more of us every week. We'll see you guys next time.